everybody, it's Dr. Lori. I hope you are well. So today's topic for the blog is simply recharge your batteries. I know sometimes I use this um, as my day on Sundays. So basically sometimes we call that refueling your tank. So when I go to church on Sunday to the services, I am refueling my soul's tank and I let the music carry me away and I let the atmosphere and um, the entire um, group of people that I'm surrounded by kind of add to my tank. And when I leave, I feel regenerated and ready for the week to happen. Now on Easter Sunday, I did this as well. So recharging your batteries is super, super important and we forget this. So sometimes, um, and I know I'm experiencing this as well, when we are working or starting our own business, maybe if you have kids and it's consuming and you are filling your time and your energy and you're constantly on the go, 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 and you never slow down and you don't take a day because Saturday and Sunday when you're working full-time plus or maybe two jobs or three jobs and if you do have weekends off and have are lucky enough and fortunate not enough to have those days off you use them for laundry grocery shopping I know in the fitness world I use it for batching my food so sometimes that takes hours um, and also I'm running around trying to get my errands done um, mailing things getting stuff ready for the week, trying to tie up loose ends, and then if I have time, I do some house cleaning, do some stuff around the yard to try to get that done, and then if I have leftover time, I sit down at my desk and start writing, journaling, blogging, working on my website, so it's continuous. This can lead to a uh, burnout. And I experienced this to where the fatigue was getting to me. And at night when I would lay down, I would feel that feeling of tired and wired. Now you really know you're taxing your adrenal glands, which have a lot of impact with stress. When you start feeling that you're so tired and you just want to sleep. But at night when it's time to go to sleep, you can't stop your brain from thinking and you're wired. And so therefore you have restless nights, you don't sleep, it's not um, restorative sleep and you need that restorative sleep. So what you need to do for yourself, even though sometimes we think, oh my gosh, I just don't have time to take a day off. I don't have time to take an afternoon off. There's too much to get done. Well, if you're sick, if your body decides to shut down on you, and you can't take care of yourself and you're gonna end up in bed because you've got a cold or the flu because that's what happens when you get run down. You're not gonna have that chance to recharge. You're gonna be forced into it. So rather than that happen, take a healthy body while it's healthy and give your chance, give your body a chance to recharge. So, so do something that you love, find an activity, go out and enjoy the sunshine, get some vitamin D, go on a hike, Grab your kids, take them to an amusement park or a park, take them out for a picnic. Uh, one of my favorite activities that I like to do when I was living in North Dakota is I'd like to grab a fishing pole and just go sit at the river with my family. And even though it can take hours before you catch a fish, it still is something that recharges your batteries. Um, I like going for drives. so. Um, from me in Palm Springs, I would drive up the hill to Idlewild and just sit because I love the mountains and I love the smell of pine trees. And I can recharge my batteries if I just sit and have a cup of coffee and my journal and I can hear just the people around me enjoying and relaxing. Recharge your batteries. This is my advice to you for the week. So go out. Take one day and recharge your batteries and come back to my blog again and I'll give you some more good information. Have a great day.